if you're flying in the SR-71, if you were open the window and stuck a beer out there, the, the, the slipstream would just rip the cap off. Did you know that? No. Don't look at the camera! 70 degrees! <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flitter Mouse. Today we're going to open the bottle of beer using a rifle. So you're probably thinking we're going to use the rifle like a big bottle opener. Um, but no, we're actually going to place the tip of the bottle over the muzzle of the rifle. So is it possible to remove the cap this way without damaging the bottle or the shooter? There you go! <laughs> Here we go. Did it break it or anything? No, not even a scratch on it. Nothing. I bet you could drink that even. Who would want to drink warm beer? The British. Do I look British? Let me see your teeth. Nope. <laughs> oh, you know me. I just like screwing with the British people. Let's see if we can do that again. Yep. <laughs> We're definitely using live rounds here, and we're shooting into a big sand berm. Um, that's the most d dangerous part of this, I think, is just controlling where the bullet's going. But it's pretty remarkable that the glass is completely undamaged, and what's happening is the the gas is coming out of that uh, muzzle at you know at least the speed of the bullet. It's just catching the lip of that crown seal and just stripping it right off the end of that bottle. So we brought three bottles out there just, just to have some backup and we'll do it one more time just to prove we're not using some kind of a stunt bottle or some kind of prop gun or something yeah. like that. So this is definitely one of those videos that have the appearance of being dangerous, but really isn't dangerous. The ball didn't explode, the sky didn't fall. And we set up this camera to kind of capture where those caps are flying at. And they're flying at a pretty high velocity off about a 45 degree angle to the left. Even at 1200 frames per second, we can just grab a one frame of that cap flying off there. Really flew off at a high speed. We found two of the caps and they were quite a distance away from where we were shooting, about a 45 degree angle or so, and uh, one of them actually had a hole in it. We're not, we're not sure if the, the bullet glanced off that and made that hole or what, but uh, no breakage to the bottle, no damage at all. Pretty remarkable. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Yeah. But um, make sure you don't look directly at the camera. Look off at like a 70 degree angle off, off that way somewhere. There you go. Now, now talk. <laughs> That's very stylish. <laughs> yes. <laughs> don't look at the camera. Oh. It's not hip. It's not hip. This is why I'm not a good paid actor. <laughs> <laughs> why are you wearing those goggles on your forehead? It's like a laser beam. Laser. Laser. What do I say about looking at the camera?